Jamie, Jared, leaders on both sides of the aisle tell me 2023 was a good year. Despite criticisms that the House passed a record low number of bills and that Republican infighting continues to impact legislation. As far as a Republican infighting, you know, it's no different than any other uh, political um, uh, organization that I've been around. There certainly has uh, been some division within that caucus uh, that has created opportunities for us to uh, work on issues where we find alignment. Speaker of the Ohio House Jason Stevens and Ohio House Minority Leader Allison Russo both tell me they got a lot done this year, specifically in the state budget where a lot of spending and policy items ended up. Russo says she considers fair school funding, increased wages for Medicaid medical service providers, and a historic transportation budget all wins. Addressing uh, some of our child care concerns and making it uh, slightly more affordable, we certainly could have done more in that space. A bill that partly made it into the budget is House Bill 7, priority legislation for the House that is bipartisan to support mothers and babies. What didn't end up in the budget is still being debated. That's a little more difficult of a bill um, because it does have an expenditure on it to kind of move through because it's justifying spending that wasn't in the budget. I think that it's ironic uh, that a caucus that uh, claims to be pro-life and uh, want to support babies um, box, box at a, the price of what it actually takes. And another bill that stalled in the House in 2023 is Senate Bill 83, Republican-led legislation that would change higher education. It's a bill Stevens says he does not want to rush. If we have to make changes um, to get to where it makes good sense and everybody's willing to deal with those changes, then we might see something there. Is Senate Bill 83 dead? As I understand it, Senate Bill 83 is probably not going to move forward anytime soon. In 2023, the redistricting commission also passed bipartisan legislative maps that overall gave Republicans the advantage to hold on to their supermajorities. It ended up with a 7-0 vote and it didn't take terribly long. The vote that we took uh, was a vote to take the pen away from the redistricting commission. Looking ahead to 2024, Russo says the Democratic caucus will continue to fight for things like common sense gun reform and tackling rising property taxes. Stevens tells me he wants to focus on the big picture in development and recruiting people to Ohio. We have an opportunity in Ohio uh, for one time funding opportunities to really change the face of a lot of communities in Ohio for the next 20 to 30 years. I also told you earlier this week that Stevens is looking to pass recreational marijuana related legislation early next year. Right now, the first House and Senate sessions are scheduled for the end of January. Local for you at the State House, I'm Natalie Fami, NBC4.